regaining U.S. legitimacy in the region or gaining legitimacy a, a worthwhile project for Barack Obama, would you say? Well, let me put it different, a different way. I think that what the mistake made and the from the beginning, and uh, you know, we see that now with the reaction to the latest election, uh, is a belief in the U.S. that it's the America that's always making the political weather in Iraq, uh, and it's really not so. And um, you know, when the surge uh, happened, there was this uh, belief that somehow the surge had changed everything in Iraq, a new military ta tactic which had uh, uh, succeeded. Um, you know, well, really, what happened was all to do more with Iraqi politics. The Shia had basically defeated the Sunni. It had really a limited amount to do with the US or U.S. or U.S. military actions. Similarly, we have the election now. Suddenly, it's seen as a um, success or is purported success of the U.S. Really, it doesn't, you know, it has more to do with the fact that the U.S. is leaving, if anything. But I think it's quite a sort of dangerous fantasy world that's being created. But suddenly you see people saying, uh, let's use the lessons of the surge in Afghanistan. And then when you think, oh, on, and I listen to them talking, it's clear they have absolutely no idea what happened in Iraq. Yet they feel that they've drawn useful lessons from what happened there that they're going to apply to a completely different country. <laughs> 